all right guys welcome back to another episode of fishing is therapy i'm out here at the boat ramp just doing some product reviews really quick but i thought i'd show you guys what i'm doing right here guys i got a really gnarly messed up um, bow roller um right now to bring your boat on it's jagged it's tore up so i'm gonna go ahead and get this replaced today guys i went ahead and saw one uh by shoreline marine and uh this product is different than this one see this one it doesn't roll this one actually rolls in the middle to relieve a lot of stress and allow less damage on your roller. So I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this installed, okay? So right now it looks like for mine, a, uh, this is gonna be a, uh, a three quarter socket on one end and then the wrench on the other end, three quarters, okay? And we should be able to get this off and then we're gonna replace it. So I had to put my boat in the water so that I could be able to do this properly. So let's go ahead and get it loosened. Taking off. I mean, cause no one wants a little messed up roller. You know, you gotta deal with while you're on a roll. So, um, took that off, a screw off. And it looks like I may have to, that's so why I bought, I brought with me my rubber mallet so I can kind of hammer everything out like knock it loose, the little sediment and everything. All right, so one side came off and that's kind of like a polymer, like a plastic, it's like a rubber plastic, but it's really cheap. So I'm gonna just hit that out like that. There we go, both sides. I can keep that bolt for something else in the future. And then I'll hammer this mess out <laughs> Woo. look at all the dirt look at how jagged that is guys this is why i'm replacing it my john boat was just tearing this up because it doesn't rotate and it's like a gel coat or something this is why i'm replacing it with the one that will roll see so let's go ahead and get that installed should be a quick and simple install All right, I'm just gonna take, put the roller in. All right, go through to the other side, get that washer on there, and then get your locking nut on there. So now, we'll repeat our same process. Now we're just gonna tighten everything up. See, look, I'm confused. I'm over here not even putting on my my roller <laughs> what are you doing then I will get on there and be frustrated going what happened <laughs> all right now I want this to still be able to roll like that so my roller isn't really moving anymore so I gotta bag it off a little bit. You want it to be able to roll. All right guys, so I got that. We're still able to spin a little bit. I think I'm gonna loosen it just a little bit more. I was working on it, trying to make sure it loosens just a little bit more i want that to be able to my boat to hit that and roll up on it there we go so now let's go ahead and see if we can get the boat on the trailer all right guys so got the bow roller on it's on there looks a little buckled under there it's rolled it's like rolled on right there but uh it's definitely much better than the other one i had See how that gel kind of bends up there? I'm gonna keep my eye on that just to make sure. This is not a heavy boat. I mean, not as heavy as like bass boats and things, but we'll keep an eye on it. But I think it went well. It was a really easy install. We'll watch it over the next few days. But so far, it looks like a pretty good product. All right, thank you guys for staying tuned. So another episode of Fishing is Therapy. That's how you install a bow roller. See you guys on another episode. Peace.